I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you with another video that will bless, touch and change your life forever. It's so good to be with you today. And it is a special day. It's a special day that God has given us to live to the fullest. And by God's special grace, we will keep on going. I tell you, the grace of God in Christ is sufficient. No matter what you can go through, no matter what trial you can face, no matter what may be happening, no matter what challenge may be coming up against you, the grace of God is sufficient. My dear friend, today the Lord has laid something special on my heart and it's a topic that I believe, once dealt with, is the beginning of wholeness. And I want to make the topic a question. And the question is, do you love and accept who God made you to be? You see, my dear friend, this is the first step in becoming whole. This is the first step in your journey to wholeness. And the good news in Christ is the Bible makes it clear. When it speaks about Christ, it says there is no end to the wholeness that He can bring. There is no end to the wholeness that Christ can bring in your life. You know, sadly in this lifetime, as we grow up from young children until adults, there are many things that happen. There are many things that we face. And some of these things can cause us to be in places where we are not whole, can cause us to be in places where there are gaps in our lives, can cause us to be in places where we do not love and accept who God created us to be. Now, the message that God has given me to share with you today is truly love and accept who you are. This is the first step to complete wholeness and God wants to make you whole. You see, my dear friend, Truly loving and accepting who you are comes down to something. You need to take some time out to fully assess and see who God has made you to be and come to terms with that person, accept that person and love that person. You see, because God never makes any mistakes. The way God created you was intentional. With the looks that He gave you, it was intentional. With the personality that He gave you, it was intentional. The way you are, the things that you love to do, the passions and the desires that you have, the way God created you was intentional. And therefore, we should come to terms and fully accept who God made us to be. It's so essential that we come to terms and we accept who we are. You see, my dear friend, no one, when they are first born as babies, feel rejected or don't like who they are. No one ever feels that. It is when they face trials and situations in life and certain attacks and certain things that come up that cause them to hate that. And my dear friend, if you're in that situation where for some reason or the other, you feel that you don't love who God created you to be, or you're not happy being you, this video is gonna bless you. And if you're in a situation where you accept who you are, but you haven't come to terms with it fully, this video is also gonna bless you. If you're completely whole and you completely love and accept who you are, this video will also bless you because we're gonna pray and the devil will not use this area as an attack on your life. So one thing I want to say is going forward from here, don't let anyone convince you or say that you're not good enough or try to convince you that the way God created you, there's a mistake with you. God made a mistake or did something. There are people out there who do these kind of things. You know, when I think of a narcissist, when I think of someone who can be classified as a narcissist, this is a person who truly loves themselves, but also feels the need to put others down. And sadly, there are a lot of people out there who do that. And, you know, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So ultimately, those people are also facing their own challenges that causes them to do that. And oftentimes as born again believers, we will face people like this. We will face people who will try and put us down. We will face people who try to convince us that the very nature or the very fiber of our being is wrong because it's what the enemy comes to do to destabilize you. It's what the enemy comes to do in order to stop you from all the things that God promises you concerning your inner man, like peace, like genuine happiness, like righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, like hearing the voice of God. It's so essential that we don't let anyone 
or anything affect how we view and love how God created us to be. Come to terms with the fact that this is how you are, this is who you are, and this is who you'll be, and accept it. Use what God has given you and live it to the fullest. Understand that this is how God has made you and accept it, truly accept it. Because once you come to that acceptance, you have completed the first step to coming to wholeness. You see, wholeness is a process. It is not something that just happens overnight or with the flick of a finger that says, wow, you're whole now. No, it's a process. You need inner healing, restoration of your inner man. Wherever there was hurt and pain, that pain needs to be dealt with. Any hurts, emotional hurts inside, they need to be healed. And once you complete the process of healing, you're ready to go on to the next stage. So now I want to go into a time of prayer with you, my dear friend. I want to pray with you and for you that if you have experienced any of the things I've said, or you've got some pain inside or some inner rejection towards yourself, God will intervene divinely and he'll bring a healing that will take you to another level in life. In saying that, my dear friend, take your cell phone, your device, wherever you're watching me from, just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and God will change your life forever. In saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to praise him. Father, you are our God and we praise you. We glorify your holy name. We magnify you today. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that you've released to us today. Thank you for your mercy that you've released on my dear friend. Bless, touch and change my dear friend's life and take my dear friend to a greater glory. And as you do what only you can do, Father, receive all the praise, receive all the honor, receive all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your presence that is here today, your presence, the precious presence of the Holy Spirit here to give Christ glory, here to do your will. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise and we thank you that today marks a change, a change for the better. My dear friends, life will never be the same again. And this is all to your glory, for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this and I thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God and I know like I know, as we pray today, God is going to bless you and he's going to take you to a greater glory. So in saying that, my dear friend, we're going to begin to pray. As we've discerned God's presence, we are ready to pray. The Bible makes it clear even God himself waited for the presence of the Holy Spirit before he began to do things. You can see that in the book of Genesis chapter 1 from verse 2 and verse 3. But now we're going to go into a time of prayer. I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is just lift up your hands and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray. Help me to press in and heal me, even as I seek the Father today. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement, and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I stretch my hand towards this camera. I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is, begin to touch change and heal my dear friend bring complete healing that only you can bring bring a change in the inner man if there is any situation or any place where my dear friend feels that they are not good enough lord i pray that you'll bring complete healing because you never make any mistakes release the grace over my dear friend to truly love and accept who they are who you have created them to be and to find their strong points and to enjoy that give my dear friend the grace to use what you have given them and to use it to the fullest, to live to the fullest, and to enjoy truly who you made them to be. Let true happiness begin today, even as my dear friend begins to accept who you have created them to be, your dear son, your dear daughter, and to accept that there is nothing wrong with them. If people have told them over the past that there is something wrong, that they will accept that you don't make any mistakes and there is nothing wrong with them, and they will go to greater glories. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I release a blessing over you. As you accept who you are, may you become whole and may everything work out for your good. May things around you work out for your good. Those things that you put your hand to do, may they work out for your good. Those dreams, desires, passions that God has given you, may you fulfill them. May you walk in your purpose and destiny and go far in life. And all who said you will never make it, may they watch and see as you make it, as your God, 
the Lord Jesus Christ helps you to get through in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend, and I'll see you tomorrow. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.